Hello guys, I hope you're all doing well uh, Now it's getting darker outside at least here where I live because I'm in the northern hemisphere if that's the right word and our nights are getting longer and therefore uh, people are looking for uh, ways to like get better lights on your car so therefore many want to like see and convert the headlights which is no, not always a good thing to do because of uh, stock uh, headlights are not made for HIDs but you can put it in the high beams and so on so first maybe a lot of people they are always looking for the cheapest things on eBay uh, that's okay I guess uh, the sellers when they have to dump their prices they will always try to find new sources where they can get their products from and over time uh, also the sources will make cheaper products but the quality will also be a lot worse so this is a standard ebay balance uh, you find in a lot of hid kits on ebay and like aliexpress and so on and it's reason why they are much cheaper uh, than like more bigger brands or even the more expensive ones on ebay so this is not even the worst i have seen this one at least got some moisture uh, prevention in here but it's still it's a really bad ballast so to start this is like a dc ballast not digi digital or anything so it means they are not going to be as bright they will flicker and and the lifetime of the ballast will go drastically down and uh, and the lifetime on the bulbs will also be much worse so we are starting to, to take a look on these pallets as you can see the igniter here is on the inside because you're just having this single wiring going outside here which makes it of course much cheaper to produce you don't have to have this separate plastic uh, case here and you don't have to supply any extra uh, extra cable here and it's of course without uh, CAN bus so it will give you uh, an error message in your car if you have like a bulb check system and you can also see the wires here they are really thin uh, and the installation isn't that great I can just pinch it off with my finger and the wires are exposed So then we're going to take a look on the inside of the ballast here. Just have to find a bit that is of the right size. I think this one will be good. The background noise that's just the furnace because it's getting colder outside and we got to heat our house. Just going to open this here. So it's just four screws and this metal bracket and all of this other here this is just plastic not that good for heat dissipation either so this is like the only cooling element you will have on this ballast four screws this looks like like those really cheap ones because you are just like screwing into raw plastic and we can take the cover off so as simple as that no really moisture but as you can see this one is at least I uh, have this like uh, glue thing uh, rubberized thing covered on the board here so it is supposed to like prevent water and moisture from getting to the board uh, some of the even cheaper ones they don't have uh, that either so if there gets any moisture to the inside it will uh, uh, ground out everything I'm not sure if I'm using the correct terms but water will uh, get into the inside and destroy everything much quicker than you find in this one so it at least have some uh, rubberizing on this logic board here so on the back side everything looks fine they will also put this rubber piece on this 
uh, thing here to make it not ground out to the plate here as you can see it's bare metal here but on the front side they didn't get covered that because they were hoping the water would not like get through uh, this really simple barrier I'm not sure what they're thinking you can just go in here and when this connection here is not uh, sealed off right it will go in here and uh, this junction or like thing here is isn't either uh, any thing in here so any water will just go right inside there and around this really cheap moisture uh, prevention here so as you can see you can just take it right off I'm not sure if this in helps anything but it at least looks a little bit better if you are just taking it off to see what's inside because if you buy this you are not going to do like I do take off these things and you can see on the inside here just a standard DC ballast I'm not sure if it's digital you got this little uh, they said it was digital so I guess so but I'm not sure you have this little logic board here with this chip so it's maybe but it's not an AC ballast it's a DC ballast you also see here like this piece is here it's like the igniter on the ballast and yeah this isn't the worst I've seen but there's a reason why uh, these ballots are cheaper than the other ones. I will take a look at them also. And you can see from this uh, coil thing here, instead uh, they found out the logic board wasn't like thick enough. I'm not sure if this is a uh, thing other producers do or in other fields if this is normal. But I don't really think so. As you can see on this uh, electric, electric path here for the electricity in the logic board. They have like soldered some extra some extra solder on here to like make it conduct more electricity because they found it was too thin. So yeah, this is just a standard eBay ballast, really crap, nothing I would really put in my car when I know at least what's in, on the inside. I hope you found it interesting. I like these kinds of videos, so yeah. I'm just making whatever I feel for and hope anybody feels that it was interesting or 